Today we're talking about some words that are useless on eBay. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about some words that have pretty much been made useless across eBay. Far too many people overuse words without knowing the true meaning of them, such as rare and scarce. The two most overused words across all of eBay, followed right behind that by limited edition. A comic book, a coin, a postcard, a stamp, or something that they made millions of is not a rare item. Items from the 80s and 90s that were produced by the millions are not rare. There's no huge rarity in items that have that quantity. In most collectible fields that I am, say buttons, postcards, stamps, coins, comics, rare is mostly defined as something with only a handful. Ten or less in some categories would be considered rare. Scarce, on the other hand, there can be more of them, but still not into the tens of thousands. If they made tens of thousands of something and they're still mostly around, those items are not scarce either. With scarce items in the same similar categories, a hundred or less would be considered scarce. Over that amount, there's still quite a few of them around, and of course, many of these categories and titles as rare or scarce depend on how many people collect them. There's a million collectors, but only say a hundred of something or two hundred of something. Those two hundred would be considered scarce because they're not flooded all over the place. So here's an overall search on eBay through all categories for the word rare in the title of the items. There's almost seven million items that have been marked as rare. And when you look through here, when you see the items that they're marking this way, the majority of them, the vast majority, just don't qualify in any way, shape, or or form for rare. A $10 record that they may have pressed 50,000 records of is not a rare or even scarce in that matter. Most of these items are not considered rare. A mass-produced CD, a mass-produced magazine, or cards, records, all of this sort of thing is wrongly marked as rare. It has made the words themselves completely useless when you title them that way. Rare means nothing when everything in the category is marked as rare or when majority of all items in a specific category, everybody throws up the word rare, trying to garner some more sales out of them. A truly rare item, something very, very scarce, won't need that in the title for it to sell because everybody will know how rare and how scarce it is. No one will need to tell a person that something is that rare. Like a Ty Cobb card out of the original T-Series tobacco cards. Everybody in their right mind who collects baseball cards or sports cards in general will know that's a scarce card. I would never even have to list that in the title. The vast majority of our items will not state rare. I use that space for something else. Rare is used as frequently as describing the sky as blue, pretty much, on most of the items that I see. It's hard-pressed to actually find something that is truly rare to begin with. A $2 patch, a small buckle that's made in the 40s that's made out of silver. A lot of these things, again, have no basis to claim that they are rare. I understand the thinking on it that, hey, somebody's going to see that word rare and automatically pay you a thousand bucks for, say, a beanie baby of Goldie the Goldfish because someone wrote the word rare in the title. It's a totally useless word. Anybody who is in a collector's field who is going to buy your collectibles is going to know what's rare. They don't need you to tell them that. It's just a wasted time, a wasted word, wasted terminology as well. I can put rare in every single item I have up, and that's not going to do me a single bit of good. You've got $8 items with free shipping. Buy it now. No offer needed being marked as rare. An $8 item is not really rare. If it's rare and has a collectible field tied to it, it's going to go for some good money if it's really truly that rare most of the items as i said if you go through here you're going to find that they aren't rare at all they're just a gimmick they're using that title in there trying to get them to sell it's no more than a advertising uh, promotional ploy trying to get somebody to think that it's worth far more than it is Again, look through here yourself, decide on your own what you think, but it's a useless word for the most part. Just like the word scarce, it's the same basic principle. If there's only a few hundred of something that they originally made, say, 100,000 or a million of, yeah, that would be considered scarce. But mass-produced items, again, do not go into that scarce area. And you can go through here as well, and you'll see the 
same exact thing. You'll see items that you know are not scarce. All they got to do is slap the word scarce on it and everybody thinks that it's going to be sold. Now, obviously, there are some items that are truly scarce, but weeding them out for a buyer is almost impossible nowadays. Everybody has pretty much ruined these words on eBay. Only true dealers who knew what was rare and scarce would use those words for the most part 15 or 20 years ago on eBay or on any platform. But now as more and more people go on to the platform, they look up the comp sales, they see that the rare ones seem to sell the best, so they slap that word on everything across the board. Probably 90-95% of every item that I see on here marked as rare or marked as scarce is neither. They are literally neither. There's many of them around. And even if you only see one or two of something on eBay itself, does not mean that those are rare or scarce either. It just means that people haven't listed them or they may list them on other sites. There's rare and scarce items that we actually have that are truly rare and scarce that I will list on other platforms because I'll get more money for them. Or I will send them to, say, Heritage Auctions or some other site like that. Places like that can have a better source for higher paying buyers. So again, it doesn't necessarily have to be on here or not be on here to be scarce or not scarce. That is not a deciding factor on it. Now, another term that is completely overused is limited edition. Limited edition lost all meaning in my book back in the 90s when corporate America would stick it on cards and comics just to get people to buy it. They'd stamp limited edition on something, press out 25,000 of a specific comic book or card, knowing that there was only 20,000 people that would want it in the first place but that limited edition status made people buy it doesn't mean much if there's that many out that are held collected as well in my mind as well 25,000 or even 50,000 of a specific item being produced isn't really that limited to begin with a thousand a hundred or even less than that yeah that would be more the long lines of a limited edition limited edition at one point was usually used to describe numbered edition and each one would be numbered say one of a hundred two of a hundred three of a hundred now those would be limited you could tell how many were made if they just mark limited edition on something to push it to sell and they don't tell you how many's made versus say regular cards it means nothing limited edition again is one of the most overused words by corporate America for collectibles this is corporate America trying to advertise and push sales as well just like resellers using the word rare and scarce this is corporate America's ploy on doing the same thing anything can be limited edition these days by corporate America dresses cards toys books cards dolls figures stamps you name it they market limited edition trying to market it towards us the only reason some of these limited edition items were ever made in the first place was just so they could mark them limited and push them out to people that would collect them and buy them thinking they have some special thing even if they only made a few and they were truly limited there has to be a customer base to want to buy them in the first place so in all honesty these sorts of words don't get you very far especially the rare especially the scarce slapping rare or scarce on something just isn't going to do you a whole bunch of good because everybody seems to be slapping it on everything everything is rare everything is scarce items like McDonald's Happy Meal toys are not rare are not scarce they made tens of thousands of every single single one, probably millions of most of them. Those are the things that people try to slap on rare. Even autographs I see rare marked on things, even from people who are still alive signing autographs at shows. If somebody can sign tens of thousands of autographs every single year, that doesn't make any of those scarce. It means that there could be tons of them out there and the value is not based on the word rare or scarce added to the title of things. It just doesn't work that way. It has been flooded. It's totally useless in my mind. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
Watchman TV if you play the watch and play game. It's a TV. I want it. The General Mills watch and play game is on TV March 26th. Details and game cards and specially marked boxes of Lucky Charms, Cocoa Puffs, Tricks, and Monsters. Or get cards free by writing to Watchman TV Giveaway, Box 9602, Clinton, Iowa. Millions will enter. A thousand can win. What you got? It's a TV. Eww.